guys. It's not seen here. Now, after using the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra for about a month now, the one thing that kept coming to my mind after using it on a day-to-day -day basis was this one simple statement that I think explains the Tab S8 Ultra pretty perfectly. And that statement is, I think that the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra is the best tablet of 2022, but who is it for? And I say this because when you think about it, the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra has everything. It has a great and powerful chip, it has an amazingly big display, it has a software that can pound for pound beat any other tablet, and it has a great durability that can last very long. And even though the Tab S8 Ultra has all of this, my only concern with it is, who's actually willing to buy this tablet and choose it over a laptop? Because the average person who is going to spend over a thousand bucks usually ends up buying a laptop because laptops already have that established market. But the Tab S8 Ultra is very new and different, so I often kept asking myself, who would want to take the risk of buying it? Because yes, it can replace your laptop, but it might be too big for some people because usually the max size for a tablet is 12 inches, which is perfectly fine and big, so who's actually going to need a 14 inch screen? And even from a laptop standpoint, the Galaxy Tab S8 costs around 1100 bucks, which isn't too expensive, but if you want to make it your personal laptop, that's where it can get tricky because the Samsung keyboard costs around 350 bucks, which actually makes the total price of the Tab S8 Ultra $1450 plus tax, which makes it over $1500, and that's a very hefty price when the average good laptop is a little over a thousand bucks. So again, I ask, who was the Tab S8 Ultra for? But besides that, I wanted to give you guys my experience with it after day-to-day -day usage to tell you why this is the best tablet in the market. Now, the first thing that I loved about the Tab S8 Ultra after one month of use was the pretty great battery. Now, the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra's 14.6 inch version has an 11,000 milliamp hour battery, which in itself is extremely high for any tablet. I would get around five to six hours of on-screen time by doing things like watching videos, playing games, drawing, scripting videos, etc. And I will confidently say that the battery was able to last me the full day. Like at the end of every day, I would have about 50% battery left, which was pretty amazing since I was putting a lot of strain on it for a longer period of time. And the only time where I didn't last all day was when I was playing a heavy game for a long amount of time like Call of Duty Mobile, but I will still give it a pass because any game that powerful will drain the battery faster. I was also really impressed with how fast the charge times were because usually a lot of other tablets have a bigger battery, which means slower charge times, but the Tab S8 Ultras wasn't too slow. Like whenever I would charge my Tab S8 Ultra while I was getting ready to head out, I would be getting ready for about an hour and my tablet would charge from 10% to 100%, which was pretty great for me. And if you are someone who likes to go out a lot with your tablet, then I would advise you to keep a portable on you if you're going to be playing heavy games because again, it will drain your battery faster. Now, the next thing that I loved about the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra after one month of use was the amazing display. Now, the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra has a 14.6 inch Super AMOLED display that has an extremely high resolution with 120 hertz refresh rate. And if I'm being honest, the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra definitely has the best looking display that I have seen on any tablet. The colors were amazing, the display was vibrant, the quality was great, the screen resolution was sharp, and the whole experience that the Tab S8 display gave me was nothing less than amazing. I also really loved how bright the screen was, like whenever I was using my Tab S8 Ultra outside, there was never a time where I would turn my brightness up and the screen didn't look great. Like right here, you can see how it looks whenever I'm outside, and no matter how much the sun was shining, I was still able to see the picture of my Tab S8 very clear, which was really good compared to other tablets. I also really love the overall quality of the screen. Like right here, you can see that I'm watching a YouTube video, and the whole picture looks like a high quality mini TV that I can take anywhere with me. Even when I'm playing games, you can see that the display is really big, and I had no trouble seeing the game I was playing. The screen resolution was also something that I was really impressed with, because when it comes to gaming graphics, a lot of tablets don't hold up. And speaking of this size, I was surprised by the 14 inch display because I thought it was going to be too big for me, but honestly, it was the perfect size because it was extremely huge. But honestly, I think it was the perfect size because not only was it extremely huge, but it was also more portable than the bigger version, which helped when carrying it to work. And to give you guys an idea of how great the Tab S8 Ultra's display is, here are some examples of me playing games and watching videos on my Tab S8 Ultra.
Now, the next thing that I love about the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra after using it for one month was that Bluetooth S Pen. Now, the S Pen on the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra was definitely one of my favorites that I loved about this tablet. And something that I used a lot when I was on my S Pen is the ability to write down notes. Like right here, you can see that if you have something quick that you wanna jot down, you can activate your S Pen and be able to write it down with low latency. And this feature is very helpful for situations where you're in school and you need to write down some notes, or you may be at work and you need to write down some simple tasks to help you do your job, or even if you're preparing your grocery list and you need something quick to do your to-do list on. And there are many features that the S Pen has, but this one definitely helped me the most. You can also open quick tabs with your S Pen, which allows you to create a note, open an app, draw, etc. Also, since the S Pen is Bluetooth, you can use the magic wand gestures, like right here. You can see that I'm watching a video, and if I press the button and move the pen to the right or left, it will change the video. Also, if I go up, it puts the volume up. If I go down, it puts the volume down. And if I just press the button, it will play or pause the video. And there were many things that the S Pen can do that will have your jaw dropping the whole time. Now, the next thing that I loved about the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra after using it for a month was the pretty great software experience. And when I say software experience, I mean just how well the software was and how smooth it was able to handle it. Like right here, you can see me scrolling through the OS and you can just see how well kept it is. I didn't have to deal with any lags. I didn't have to deal with any apps crashing on me. I didn't have to deal with some apps not being compatible with the screen size. And I didn't have to restart my tablet so that it can be able to act right. And I think that this and the screen were definitely the most enjoyable parts for me because when everything is running smooth, it makes tasks that much easier to do which means that I'm overall more happier with my purchase. And I also really loved how it was able to handle Samsung DeX. Like right here, you can see that I'm able to get my work done with no hiccups. And whenever I connect my keyboard, it feels no different than a laptop. Now, the last thing that I loved about the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra after using it for a month was the amazing quad speakers. Now, the quad speakers on the S8 Ultra are some of the best that I had ever heard on any tablet this big. They were loud, crystal clear, full of bass, all while still maintaining amazing quality. I also love that no matter how much I turn up the volume, I was still able to get great quality because when it comes to other devices, they'll sound good when the volume is low, but once it goes all the way up, they really don't sound that good. And that was something that I really appreciated when it came to the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra speakers. And to give you guys an idea of what I mean, I will be putting the speakers on full blast while playing a video. And there it is you guys, my review on the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. Now let me know down in the comments, would you get the Tab S8 Ultra over any laptop in the market? Let me know. And if you guys made it to the end of this video, I would like to say thank you for sticking around. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe, it will be very appreciated. And as far as social media, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Oh, oh, oh.